what's up guys um in this tutorial i'm going to be going over something called searching and this follows from what i did in the last video about arrays and essentially what searching is is it as the name suggests it's just looking for finding something now if i told you that you had a list of a lot of items let's say i told you you had a dictionary or something and i told you to find the word let's say milk now milk is like it's a word beginning with m which would be somewhere like towards the the middle or lower half of the dictionary right now you could you know like go through a b c d all the way up to m you could do that so essentially you have to look at the problem at hand you have a dictionary here let's say oxford cuz i like oxford and um, let's say you have a, this is your word milk you have to find milk in this you have to find this milk in this dictionary sorry i'm not the best draw not the best artist i'm sorry um but yeah you get the drift milk i'm telling you to find milk in a dictionary now there are 26 letters right and m is i'm not sure um it's irrelevant actually but yeah there's 26 letters and like each letter has like 200 300 maybe more words i don't know i'm just approximating so going through so many words just to find your word milk is it efficient no not really but is it is it fine will it work of course it will work so today we're going to go over how to search for something how to search for an element in an array using this technique of going through every element and it's called linear and sometimes also called sequential linear or sequential search all right so linear or sequential search what happens here um let's say you have an array mm, to make it simple i'll keep an integer array so you have an array a For elements one, four, nine, sixteen, twenty-five. Now, if I told you to find the element, and this is int. If I told you to find the element, let's say x, which is equal to four. and i told you to tell me what position it's at so uh, arrays are numbered to zero through since that's how programmers number so you would tell me 4 x is it's there at position 1 right now how would i do this it's pretty simple if i go through every position in the array compare it to the value of this x if i find a match if this is equal to this so that means that this is there and this means i should just return this number over here now let's actually try and dive into the code i'm just writing the function that would um search so let's call it void search and let's say it takes a parameter which is the element you want to search for let's see you want to search for x and um, okay let's customize this a bit this is not what you might see in textbooks but this is something that might look good like you can think about it let's say i pass the array also so this has the array and the element that i want to search for now essentially what i can do here is i can have a for loop let's say i have a for loop 
and i equals 0 i less than a dot length no remember no parentheses because length is an instance variable it's not a method i plus plus let's say if a i equal to equal to x what does this line do this line basically says that if the position if the element at this position at the ith position is equal to what the value of x here is then let's say sopln will print x plus at plus i because that's the position it's at right so this is the basic code for let's say a linear search it will go through every element if it finds a match then it will print it out or return it or you can do whatever with it whatever you want with it once you find a match but that's that's the gist of how a linear search works in the next video we're going to go deal with something a little more complicated and um, it's it's another form of searching that is much 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 faster than linear searches but i hope that this video wasn't too confusing for y'all because linear search is a pretty simple concept and it's something that could come in your icsc and it's scoring so i, I want this to be crystal clear in your head so once more you have let let's trace the execution of this let's say i have an array um one three five seven and i want to search for zero now i haven't accounted for it in this code but you have to use something called a flag and i think i've explained flag in one of my videos before please point it out in the comments if i haven't so i'll explain it again but it's basically you have a variable called flag here boolean flag equals false and if this thing becomes um if this condition succeeds you make flag equal to true and i'm sorry my handwriting has gone a little illegible flag equals true and shut that so if you check at the end if flag is true then if flag is false then just return element not found or print element not found that's for zero and let's say i'm gonna search for three it'll go through it'll look at one compare it with x x is three over here is it true no now go through it look at three now you found your match so let's say what will happen is this three will get printed and at the position here is one right so three at one will get printed so that's basically how linear search linear search works and i hope you guys understood don't forget to hit subscribe right over here see you guys